Okay guys, I am back for part three and hopefully the final installment on the storm koozie that we're working on. Um, we're going to finish the last little part of it and then I'm going to do a brief video on the epoxy because I'm going to put something on the epoxy that's um, hopefully going to look like rain. We're going to find out. <laughs> so, um, to finish this last part, I'm going to be using more of the Craftsmart paint. And this is in the color yellow. No crazy names here, just yellow. I'm also going to be using, <laughs> if I don't throw it across the room, a tiny paintbrush. As little as you can get. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be creating the lightning. So for this step, this is going to be pretty basic. Just get some paint on your paintbrush. And then starting from the cloud, do little lines downwards. And then you're just going to branch those lines off. Each little arm will get its own little pieces that are branching off of it. And I don't feel like there's a way to mess this up really because um, no lightning strike is the same. And I'm just going to keep doing that until I have as much lightning as I feel looks good on here. I made the first half of this video super long, so I'm hoping that this part of it we can just kind of breeze through. Okay, there's the lightning. Now, I had already done the other side of this previous to recording that way I could just speed things up and I can show you guys the process along the way. So when I'm looking at this now, I feel like I want to go back in over the yellow with some white and dampen that down a little bit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some white paint and then I'm just going to go back in over the yellow with some white because my intention is to sprinkle the glow in the dark glitter on top of the paint. So I think that the white will make that pop nice. I will be right back. Okay, so what I did there is uh, once I used the yellow that I previously mentioned, the yellow paint, I didn't like it so much. So I went back in over the top of the yellow that I'd already done with white. And I'm sure if you guys saw the previous shot of this koozie, you can agree that the white looks better. Um, I did also take the very tip of my brush and I just put some little dots, some little dots of the white in there because I want it to look as if it's raining through that lightning. So on the other side I'll show you, I'm just going to go in and just dot with the tip of my brush. some little dots in there. Okay, while the paint is still wet on this, I'm going to be taking the Recollections Glow Glitter 
and I'm just going to sprinkle this really heavily. Let's give you a better angle here. You guys see those feathers? That's what's coming up next. Okay. Glow glitter. And it only stuck on the paint. glowing on there okay so my final step on this is going to be put on during the epoxy I'm gonna put epoxy on this cup and I'm gonna let it turn for probably about 35 to 40 minutes and then I'll take a look at it and see if the epoxy is still moving um, if it's not if the epoxy is pretty much set up but still tacky I'm gonna sprinkle some of this Put it in my hand first and then literally take little pieces and sprinkle them onto the epoxy. If you dump right out of this, you're going to end up with a big clump of it in one spot. So put it in your hand first and then sprinkle it where you want because it's going to stick to the epoxy so it's going to kind of be floating on top of the base color. It's going to look a little bit more like rain. So I will get this thing with the epoxy on it and then I will pick back up once I'm sprinkling that glitter onto it. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial I'm going to pop back in and give you just a quick video of me sprinkling this glitter onto it. Um, stay tuned because I have the feathers that's coming up and I'm also going to be doing a tutorial on how I did the freehand mermaid scales. So for anybody that's wanting to do mermaid, I did freehand mermaid scales on a mug. So both of those are coming up. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and do that so you can get the alerts and I will be back with more stuff. Okay, you guys, um, I promised I would come back and show the last and final step I'm going to do on the storm koozie. So it's turning right now. It has epoxy on it. Um, if you, As you can see, as it's turning, it's rough. It's going to need more epoxy. But right now the epoxy is not moving anymore. If I were to turn it off, it, it wouldn't run and move. I'm going to put this Martha Stewart. You see how pretty that is? Now it'll focus. Look at that. It's called Sterling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this in my hand. I'm going to pinch a little bit from my hand. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on top of the epoxy. So I'm pinching a little bit. And then rubbing my fingers. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit so you guys can see how I'm doing this. Pinching a little bit. Okay. I'm just seeing where it needs more. I'm flicking those off my fingers. All right. Put the rest of what's on my hand into the glitter bottle. Back into the glitter bottle. No, no. All done. Can you guys see that? That just added that little something something to it. See it catching the light? Oh my goodness. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and stay tuned because I have a ton of stuff coming down. See you later.